Well, that's great. Get here and the park's closed, so I gotta do something different. All right, so Beverly Beach Park's closed. I gotta find another way down. And that's what I'm trying to work on here. Five hours of driving today and yeah. Looks like I might be able to get down through here. If I don't step on some hypodermic needles or some fentanyl go up my nose here somewhere. <laughs> People have been camping out. Anyway, I think I can get down this way. All right. Looks like it. Oh, looks like a good place to slip and bust my hind end. Oh, get a broken hip here. Oh, the things I do. This is my last trip here anyway, so this won't, this will be over after this. I'm, I'm done coming here. I've come here enough times that I got to put this down in case I fall. Yeah, it looks like a May Maker here. This stuff's really slick. Dryer here though. The membrane, yeah. I'm coming in from the opposite end this time, so it's this way. A lot of walking with all this gear on. I got my backpack loaded down with the drill and all that, taking samples today. And I think that's it up there. I haven't been in here in over a year. I have no idea what it looks like now. Could be all tore up. But we'll find out. Beautiful day. Stuff I'm gonna be coming into is at a slant like this. Notice how this isn't. This is all straight across. I don't know what kind of biology we got going here, but this is down from the membrane. No idea. Okay, that's the membrane there. Boy, both layers are really exposed. And it's at a slant, so I should be able to walk up to the interstitium layer, which should be right above it. It should be eye level right here somewhere. <laughs> I'm coming into it backwards as I normally do. <laughs> There's some of them round balls right here. <clears throat> that's what's above and see there's no strap so and they're not eroded off I don't find straps of the thousands I've looked at yeah see the round nodule sticking out right there one there one there one there one there one there <clears throat> I noticed this the last time I was here there's a layer of round balls above it. One there. Those are round balls protruding out. Interesting. So slick I can't get up there. Oh man, there's a whole bunch of them sticking out. Look at that through there. I got the drone today so I can fly it if it's not too windy. Whole way, those are all balls. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six of them sticking out right there. See those up there? That one's throwing a shadow, shadow. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a bunch of them sticking out. You can see two of them right there. One there, one there. Beside it. Look at that one sticking out right there. Right there. Okay. It looks like there's a gap in between. I don't know how much because this runs at an angle. It looks like about a, a 12 foot gap between the bilip and membrane. This is the bilip. This is the top layer, which goes up to there of the bilipid. That's the bottom layer. This is the bottom layer. And this is something in, be this is in the matrix. This stuff here is in the matrix in between the two layers top layer i'm not sure what that is there this is the bottom layer look at the ball sticking out there's look at that one there that one there that one there whole bunch down through there now are showing they weren't here last time is showing as much as they are now 
But the bilipid membrane has four layers to it. This is that other layer I was telling you about that caps the bottom side so that the cells are not exposed. They're exposed in between the two matrix, in, in the middle of the matrix. There's, this is, the cells are open and the cells are open up there facing each other. But the top has a cap on it, which the bot, same as the bottom. The top has that same thing on top of it. Boy, a lot of it's so missing now. Wow, so much of it's gone. So anyway, that's that bottom piece that I was telling you about right here. And see this row, I was gonna drill these out, but those are not drillable and pull, able to pull out. But what's amazing is these have a lot of shells in them. A lot of, something's going on here, but there's that other layer. See how it's separated? It's stuck to this. It's, it's stuck to the, the bottom layer of the bilipid, but it's separated from that. So this is absolutely part of it. See that? It's absolutely part of it. It's almost glued to it, but it's separated the next layer down. And these round things are just full of seashells. So what are these? One there, one there. They run down here, sticking out. And one here, they're not really round. It looks like there might have been a layer. There, 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 these here. So I'm not sure what's going on here. But there's that layer that seal caps the bottom side of the cell. That's the, that's the cell there. And that's the top layer of the bilipid. But you see that? That's that layer I was telling you about. Now these are concretions. I guarantee if I drill one of those out and take it out and pop it open, there will be a, a shell inside of it. A, uh, a clam shell. I've done it, because I've done it before. I've drilled one of these out of this wall, took it home, cracked it open, that's what's inside there. Same thing here. If I can find another one not so deep, I might try to drill it out because there's nobody here today. There's that other layer I was telling you about, absolutely. Because it's stuck to the other one above it. So there's actually four layers to the bilipid membrane, not two. The top and bottom of the cells are not exposed, they're actually sealed in. And it goes down inside the transfer channels and you can see it's actually part of it. I have physical evidence, boots on the ground, eyeballs seeing it. And you're seeing it too.